Well, good day, Tubes. How's she hanging? Pretty good here. So we went to Princess Auto the other night after that uh, sale flyer video we put up there. Uh, the Tuesday is the uh, the actual start of the sale. A couple things I wanted to get, so we went and we found them and we brought them home. So we're going to show you here what we got. And uh, one is a, a kit. Hopefully it's a good one. Sometimes I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes I don't know, but uh, hopefully it's good. And uh, the other thing here is another kit that I couldn't uh, couldn't resist for the price. Holy smokes, it was dirt cheap, like really cheap. So, and uh, not like I needed them, but I got them anyways. But first of all, let's have a look here. So, little story here. Nice piece of galvanized pipe, right? Um, <clears throat> sometimes these things get broken in the cemetery. These are like what I use for from the main to like the water tap bowl. Pretend here. And uh, some people, I think, like to lean on these things and then snap, bust them off like, every time. Right where the threads are, you know, on the bottom here. When, or on the, usually on the bottom by where the main is. That's where they seem to break off. So let's get that off. So they always seem to break off like right there. So this one had broken off like a brand new pipe. Someone broke it, just left it, and it was just spewing like crazy for like hours. Anyways, I found it, turned the water off, got, went and got a new piece, and uh, life went on, right? So this is the second time that someone's done this. You'd think you'd give them someone a call. Oh, I'm sorry, I broke your line, blah, 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 blah. Or knock on a door or leave a note or something. No, they just bugger off. <laughs> just leave it spewing. So that could do a lot of water in a, long, in a short time, right? So uh, a 10 gallon a minute or so, roughly. Uh, but anyway, so that is bad. So, I mean, you go buy a new one of these. This is like a 36-inch pipe. You go buy a new one of those and put it on. That's what I did. And I'm like, I need to get, like, the kit or a kit or a die or something that I can re-thread these things. So I went and did that. They finally come on sale. So we got one. We got a kit here. I haven't opened it up yet. So it comes with the uh, 3 8 half inch is what this is. 3 quarter inch, which I... Have a little bit out there. I don't really have any one in or one and a quarter, so I'll probably never use them, but hey, you never know. So let's open her up here. We, uh, I've got a big piece of the tractor off of here. I think this video is going to get up before that video, anyways. Um, working on that thing, anyways. There'll be a video coming up of that soon. Mm -hmm. Mm. It even comes in a nice kit. Oh, that's so nice. So what we're going to try here to do is re-thread. Ooh, that is nice. Uh, that's really nice, actually. Stay. So that's supposed to be up there. Not the greatest of cases. They're kind of chintzy. And this is all over the place, but I think that's probably our half inch. Yeah. So that uh, ooh, comes comes with some. I really don't fit in there all that great. Right up to the big daddy. Now, how does that big daddy fit in there? How the small one fit in there? Hopefully all right. These, I guess, are replaceable little cotton teeth in there, too. They don't give you any spares, I don't think. But I'm wondering if these are, like, the same. So if you broke one, you could switch them. And there's the little guy. That's actually uh, pretty good. That's a pretty good kit. Pretty happy with that. Now, this one, I guess, when you're not using, has to stay in the, the machine. Yeah, or, yeah, I'd have to stay in the machine. Okay, that's good. So we got, uh, whoa, whoa, okay. That's good. Now, hopefully my vise will hold this pipe when we start to thread this. So, what we're going to do is, uh, we're going to get you on a tripod here. One sec. Okay, so what we want to do is thread 
that guy to that guy. And uh, let's see here if I can hold her. It's snug enough in there. And these ratchets, so that's pretty sweet. Although, I guess I gotta go this way. Doesn't want to stay in there. I guess it's the it's a ring that doesn't really hold in too well. Chintzy, it's a little chintzy, it's a little chintzy. But if you're doing this full time, I don't think you'd want this this kit. Rigid makes a good kit for these. All right, she's cutting. You probably should we're spinning. Yeah, we're spinning. You probably should uh, have a. They actually make a special vise for these things. It's a pipe cutter vise. It's got a thing that clamps it a little better than this does, but this will work. And like I say, you probably should lube this too. I might spray on some fluid film here. chips come out now though. So this is a national pipe tap kit. How do you get this off now? <laughs> uh, that might be interesting. I don't know how to get this off. How far to go either. Yeah, the little things aren't coming out so nice now, but it's really cutting. It's cutting pretty good. Those things will be wicked sharp too, but yeah, it's working. Ah, there we go. I got gotcha. you. I got you. I remember now. I used to rent a lot of these things at the rental to people, but I never used one myself. Never had a need to, I guess. Oh, we're spinning again. <coughs> Probably getting close. again. Just can't hold her tight enough. I think you'd probably bring it to the edge of the cutter here. Oh, this doesn't want to. Doesn't want to stay tight now for me. Uh, it's good vice, but it's just it's biting into it. But there's a lot of torque on that, right? Maybe that is it. Does it actually bottom out somewhere in there? Well, let's see if the threads are nice and clean. Or did it chew it all up on me? Oh, that's sharp. Oh, it jabbed into me even. Nice. Well, I think it'll be all right. It's not a very long thread, but most of the times you don't need that much anyways. Oh, lucky there. Well, I don't know now. You know what? 
I'm not too sure if it cut it really good. Uh, doesn't look too bad. Have to clean that up a little bit and it's probably thread on all right. It's got the taper to it anyways, but that's the trouble with these though, you know, with that taper on there, it tapers it like, like this, so it gets really, really skinny in there, so you actually cut a lot of your pipe out, which is really not good and it makes it really weak. Oh yeah, I think we're all right there. Let me grab a... Should kind of go on a little further than that, for my liking, but uh, before it gets kind of tight, but I don't think I really went far enough with it. Yeah, that's not tremendous. I didn't seem to want to go any more though, but we could try it again here. Put the handle on, I guess, first. Mm, that first, my goodness. any tighter without putting some kind of leverage handle to it. Yeah, it doesn't seem to want to go any more than that. Uh, let's see here. Don't really want to go too too tight with it, but Turning it again, holy smokes. Well, I think that's about as best I can get her. Got a little few more cut in there. Well, that's good. It's not too often I've got to fix one of these, but now I can. Instead of going and buying a brand new pipe again, right? All right. That seems pretty good. Yeah, I think that'd be all right. She gets tight there quick, but uh, once you tighten her on to whatever, I think you'd be all right. Wow, that was really tight, but she sure has some torque to her to spin her like that. My goodness. Well, that's good. I got another pipe I can use if I need to. So that's good. That's a pretty good little kit, I think. Seemed to work pretty good. I'm going to give her a little clean in here, though, and get rid of the slime and scrime out of her now. Oh, there we go. A pretty good little kit, I think, for uh, 94 bucks. I think it was on sale for. $94, I think it was here. Uh, uh, no, $49. Better. $49.99 for that. I don't know what the regular was, but I think it was 100 I think it was 50% 50 off. So that's not too bad. That's a pretty good kit, I think, for that. And, uh, yeah, there we go. So the other thing I got here, well, I've got a set of these for when we work on this uh, little fuel tank here for the uh, Empire engine. Uh, got it cleaned up right now, and I'm going to probably sandblast the outside and, and uh, leave it bare steel for now because I want to put in a drain on the bottom of the tank. So I'm going to use one of these to drill down through to get the, the hole drilled in the tank and then solder on the, a nut that the uh, I got a drain for it that the drain will thread into and then I got another nut to uh, 
put tension onto it. So anyways, and then we'll seal it in with some thread sealer stuff. So that's what that's for, anyways. And uh, the other thing I got here was this kit. Nice O-ring kit. Ugh. Like I said, I didn't really need O-rings, but oh man, this was so cheap. Eight, 15 bucks for this, I think it was. 19.99. And then gas and oil friendly. Apparently. Get rid of that plastic. So, uh, holy smokes. What? What the heck? <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Yeah. Got all plastic. Wow, that's a pretty darn neat looking kit. There's a lot of different sizes in here. Even right down to uh, whew, these little things. Boy, they're even smaller in here. Look at the size of these little ones. Holy smokes. Look like little inner tubes, don't they? Look at these little things. Puny little guys. Wow. And then right up to real big thick stuff. That's pretty good. For 20 bucks. What was it? 20 bucks? Yeah, $20 for this. Dirt cheap. There's a lot of O-rings in here. A lot of different sizes, thicknesses. There's a... Uh, hmm. Uh, hang on a second. Uh, who I out? Oh. Wow. Imagine somebody in China counting all these out and stuffing these boxes with these things, eh? Just to send them send them over to us. Crazy. Some pretty tiny ones in there though, isn't there? Holy smokes. Goes through all the sizes here. So if there's one eighth, you know, right up to inch and three quarter. OD sizes, holy smokes, all kinds of them. All kinds of them, so that's good. It even tells you number 60 is ID 47.7, blah, 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 blah. So that's good. Sweet, all right. Well, that's cool, but uh, yeah, no, I had this, uh, another video coming up for this. It'll probably be our Friday's video. And uh, rebuilding this thing here, putting that pin in, holy, what a nightmare. Anyways. <laughs> Oh, 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 what a nightmare. What a nightmare. It sucked, but uh, it's done anyways. I just got to put it back together now and uh, more plastic. Put it all back together and waiting for a warm day for that. So Awesome. Cool. So anyways, yeah, that's the kit. I just want to show you that. Uh, figured uh, I'd pick one of them up. It was on sale pretty good. They're pretty cheap, so I thought I'd go down and get one, and we did. So, anyways, that's it for today. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you all later, and you guys have a good day. Happy threading!